Hi everybody, Beanmeister22 here. Hey, it is Sunday night. I'm fixing to go back to work tomorrow, and it is very rare that my Monday is a Monday, because you guys know I work a weird schedule, so I'm going to be gone all next week at work. Ugh, hate it. Anyways, if you guys didn't know, spider videos have to be educational. I mean, I thought all spider videos were educational. You get to see, you know, what they do, how they interact with... Anyways, so this is an educational video. I guarantee you'll learn something. And if you don't learn something, maybe you're just too stupid. No, I take that back. Maybe, maybe. Anyways, check it out. So today we are going to look at the difference between a false widow's egg sack and a black widow's egg sack. Forget about this being educational or not. That is very important. The false widow, though it scares a lot of people and can give you, you know, an infection, is nowhere near as dangerous as the black widow. It was quite some time ago that I actually showed you that film, that video I made, of a black widow actually spinning an egg sack. If you remember, I caught the black widow, you put it in a container, I wait a few days till I have time to film it, and in there she just laying eggs! Ah! So what we have here is, this is my spider containment zone. Remember when I talked about protocol zero? That would mean these would all get wiped out if something bad happened. And remarkably enough, only one scorpion and maybe one centipede are dead. Everybody else is still alive, so I had to feed them all today. Not exactly quite sure what educational video I'm going to make next with them, but we have them. Because remember, you guys sent them to me in the mail. Don't ask about the snake, I already got rid of the snake. All right, so what I did is, I caught several false widows from around the house. Remember, we've always had some false widows here. I read those headlines out of London, false widow infestation, everybody's, ah! They hear the term widow and they freak out. And really, it's sensationalized news. It's sensationalism, it's fake news. I'm not saying I wanna get bit by one, I don't wanna get bit by those giant house spiders that normally live here. But unless you have an allergic reaction, you can have an allergic reaction to any little critter's venom, unless you have an allergic reaction to them, hey, they are not like a black widow. They just kind of look like one, and that scares people. Hey, the first time I found one, I thought, oh my God, a black widow. And really quick, I love the comments I get. You know, a uh, black widow is supposed to have an hourglass on its back. No, the hourglass is on its abdomen, on its stomach. In North America, in the United States, we do have some black widows that have some white and some red blotches on their back. I think it's a southern black widow. The western black widow, the black one with the hourglass on its abdomen, the one we all know and love, well, that's the most common one. And that's the one when you see a black widow, that's what you're looking at usually. Also, you cannot go by that red hourglass. I even have a video where you can't see the hourglass until I magnify it in. You can see just the faint outline of that red hourglass. You cannot go by that. You have to go by the shape, what the spider looks like, how it walks, how his legs are articulated. You have to look at all that stuff. Don't just count on the hourglass. I guess you could count on the hourglass. I mean, if it has one, then yeah, I'm pretty sure it's a black widow. I don't know if any other spider has a red hourglass on its abdomen, its stomach. So you learn something right there, right? I don't know if any other spiders have that, but pretty much if you see that red hourglass, bam, it's a black widow. But just because you don't see it does not mean it's not a black widow, and that's very important. Do not forget that. Don't say, well, it looks like a black widow doesn't have an hourglass. I'm just going to pick it up and play with it. No, don't do that. So I caught the false widows, put them in some containers, and I've had them in there for a while because I was going to feed them to some black widows and see, you know, what happened. You know, in an educational manner, of course, right? And then they started laying their egg sacs. Pretty much what the black widows I found in the house did. They started laying their egg sacs. And I almost wouldn't even call them egg sacs because they are kind of blotchy in it. Compared to the almost perfectly spherical egg sacs of the black widow, these things are just kind of a mottled, blobbed mess. And remember, you got to take everything you hear on YouTube or the internet with a grain of salt. Because even the experts will tell you on a lot of things, you, you can't 100% identify things all the time. There are some big differences between the brown recluse and the giant house spider, but sometimes they can look so close to each other, you actually have to look under magnification. They even say that at the local college extension service. And since there are millions and millions and billions and gajillions of bazillions and a whole bunch of bugs and spiders, there could be variances we don't even know about. So there's two rules of thumb. 
If you find a spider in the house, when in doubt, catch it and put it out. Or when in doubt, squish the damn thing. So, yeah, hey, it's up to you how you really... Don't flush them down the toilet. We talked about that, remember? As for what I have learned, if I see an egg sac that is perfectly spherical and looks really good, like the Black Widow ones, hey, I'm going to have to assume it's a Black Widow. If I see this knottled mess that looks like a wadded up chunk of cotton ball spread out or something, then, you know, that's not a Black Widow. Good looking cotton ball, that would be a Black Widow. This tore up looking cotton ball egg sac, not a Black Widow. And really, I've been wanting to make this video for a long time, but then when I saw that the false widows started laying those weird looking egg sacs, hey, I thought, hey, I gotta get this video up because they're, it's kind of important. Now, that is not to say that a false widow can't make a perfectly spherical one like a black widow. I just haven't seen it. When it comes to things like this, when in doubt, you treat it like it is the most dangerous one there, just to be safe. If you remember, those first scorpions that were sent to me, they could have either been a bark scorpion, an Arizona hairy scorpion, which is kind of, you know, they're, they're harmless, the bark scorpion, a little more, the most venomous scorpion in North America, or a death stalker. I think if it has the name death in its name, it's probably pretty bad. Then, of course, there was those bark scorpions that they sent to me and said, hey, uh, check it out before you open this up. They're bark scorpions. Ah! So, yeah, that's, that's bad. So feel free to verify what I'm saying here online, any of this stuff, but take everything with a grain of salt. What we have here is containers with false widows. They got these nasty, horribly, you know, it looks like they have a low work ethic to make an egg sack, an egg case that looks like that. Whereas the female black widow, she is hard working and, you know, just go get her and in three days can pump out three or four perfect looking egg sacks. Yeah, that's pretty scary, right? And really quick, here will be the first look ever, my first view ever that I'm showing you guys of the Black Widow tank I'm setting up. If you remember, Leo Kim Video has been doing this, and there's a reason to do this. If you're finding Black Widows around your house, you got to figure out how they act. I don't want to say you got to figure out how they think. Get yourself in their mind. I don't want to necessarily say that, but I do want to say, hey... If you put them in an environment, see what they do. Because if we didn't have these false widows in this environment, we would not know, hey, that's what a false widow egg sac looks like. And truthfully, if I hadn't had that black widow in that container and she started laying them egg sacs, I wouldn't have known what that looked like. Well, until I saw it on Leo Kim Video's channel, right? All right, so there you have it. False widow egg sac, black widow egg sac. I wonder what the spider babies would do if they would intermingle and breed and make something weird together or just eat each other. I don't know. And remember, if you like spider videos, support them. I'm not saying, hey, support my channel or, you know, do something. If you like videos with spiders, you better start supporting them because they're getting removed from YouTube. Cross the board. Bam. And if there's a channel out there making spider videos, if you have not been hit yet, you will be hit. So you got to educationalize them a little bit more. Even though I thought putting them in there, well, you know, I thought that was educationalized. And God forbid someone thinks you're sensationalizing it. So when you do the educational video on the Black Widow Spider, make sure you talk in a snooty voice like this. And don't talk, hey, sports fans, look at you. Don't, don't be all excited about it. Remember, you're, a, you're an intellectual. You're learning things. Oh, I learned today what a black widow egg sac looks like compared to a false widow egg sac. Because, you know, you never know who's watching. All right, so leave your comments in the comment section. And hey, as always, thanks for watching. And yes, I still need to make that Lady Gaga video. And then I have some other really cool things to tell you that I did in the last two weeks. You don't care. I know. I'm going to tell you anyways. And yes, really quick, if you've seen that video, my cat Kiki died, and it's with all the, the videos, it's always a matter of time for someone says, I hate you, I hate you, and I'm glad your cat's dead. You know, that's, that's YouTube for you, you know, trolls rule. All right, so leave comments in the comment section. As always, thanks for watching, and I hope you learned something. Bye. Beanmeister 22, the most dangerous man on YouTube.